Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Kenmore Refrigerator Water Tank Kit. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the instructions, the mounting screw, two water line connectors, and the new water tank. The water tank kit is located in the fresh food section and it's what holds the cold water for the dispenser. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's dirty or it has a hole in it and it's leaking water. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the refrigerator door. To get to the part, we have to pull out the upper drawer. All you have to do is pull it out till it stops, then lift it up on the front and pull it the rest of the way out. Once you have it out, you can set it aside. With the drawer out of the way, we can reach in and carefully tape the glass out. You can reach in from underneath and lift up on it and pull it out and set it aside. Then we can reach in and pull out the storage pan cover. All you have to do is lift up on the front to get it off the supports and then pull it out. Now that we have the upper storage pan and drawer out of the way, we can take out the lower one. Same as the upper, you want to pull the drawer out until it stops and then lift it up and pull it out the rest of the way. Then we can take out the glass shelf. You want to lift it up from below and carefully pull it out, set it aside. And then we can pull the frame out. Just lift it up and pull it out. To take the water tank out, we have to cut the water lines. So we're going to lay a towel down because it could leak quite a bit. And then we have to take the water tank off the back wall, which there's two little locking tabs, one on each side. We're going to do the one on the right first. You can just stick a screwdriver in there and kind of bend it down and pull the water tank out. Once you have that one done, you can do the one on the other side. Sometimes it'll just come off about at the same time anyways. Once you have the water tank released from the back wall, you can set it down on the little shelf right here. And then we need to cut these water lines about two inches or so from the water tank. So we're gonna take our wire cutters and just cut them off. Once you have the water lines cut, you can carefully pull the water tank out, keeping it level so you don't drain the water out. Here's the old water tank kit next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To make sure we get the water tank in the right position, we're going to put this upper shelf back in. You want to make sure that the pegs go into the rear holes back there in the back of the wall. Once you have them in place, then you can set the front of the shelf down. And then we can position the water tank. Like the directions say, we want to put it in here so it touches that shelf, but then we drop it down like a half inch. So you want to lift this up till it touches the shelf and then let it drop down just like a half an inch or a quarter inch. And then while you're holding it in place, we're going to reach in with our quarter inch nut driver and drive the screw into the back wall to hold this in place. You want to make sure when you drive the screw in, you don't over tighten it. Otherwise, you'll just strip the hole out that we're cutting into the plastic liner and the water tank will fall out. All right, so we're going to push the water tank up to the shelf and then let it drop down a half an inch or so. And then we're going to put the screw in with the nut driver. Once you have the screw tightened down, we can pull the shelf back out so we can reattach the water lines. You'll notice that the water lines coming up to the water tank used to be quarter inch, and the new water tank is just coiled up 5 16 tubing. So we're going to use these quick connect fittings that have 5 16 on one side and quarter inch on the other. We're going to trim the water lines to length so they fit neatly in the back of the fridge. Now we're going to cut the water lines. You may have to trim both the quarter inch and the 5 16 depending upon how it's laid in there. So we're just going to grab one of each, doesn't matter which side they go to, and line it up and just kind of hold it right there. And then we're going to bring it over to the block of wood. You want to remember when you cut these, you want to make a nice, smooth, straight cut. If it's deformed or has any sharp edges, you might damage the O-ring when you push it into the union. Mm -hmm. 
once you have the water line cut off and you're sure you got it nice and smooth, we can push the quarter inch connection onto this line. All you have to do is push it down until it bottoms out. You'll feel it go past the O-ring and it has to go a little bit farther. Then we can grab the 5 16 hose and put it in the other side. Once you have this side done, we can do the other side. On this side, the 5 16 hose is pretty long, so we're going to trim that up just a little bit. Just carefully bring it down here so you don't pull it off the wall and we'll just lift the block up and cut a couple inches off and then we can line the quarter inch up right about here or so doesn't have to be perfect just make sure you don't cut off too much the first time. All right, now we can put the union on this side. We're going to put the quarter inch side on first again. And then we'll grab the 5 16 line and push that one in. With both water lines hooked up, we can put all the shelving back in the refrigerator. We're going to put the lower one in first. All we have to do is put the two posts in the back into the holes in the back wall. Once you have those in place, you can set the front down onto the supports. And then we can put the glass in. All you have to do is line it up in the slots on the rails and push it back into place. To put the lower storage pan in, all you have to do is line it up with the rails and push it back into place. Once you have that one in, we can do the upper one. Same as the lower, all you have to do is line up the glass on the frame rails for the glass and push it back into place. Then we can put the upper storage pan back in, lining up on the rails and pushing it back into place. With the shelves installed, we can close the door, plug the refrigerator back in, and then you can cycle water through the dispenser. You want to make sure you get a good clear flow and the water bubbles are all out. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.